Hey guys, so today I thought we would play with some new products from Physicians Formula. As you can see from the thumbnail, we have four new products to try out. So if you guys are curious to see how these work and what I think of them, then just keep watching. First product is this Refreshment Cucumber and Bamboo Facial Spray with an SPF of 20. So it's nice that like your prep step has an SPF in it. It says for all skin types, directions, shake well before each use. And that is all it says on the packaging. Personally, I love cucumber scented things. So let's see what the spritzer is like. Okay, it looks like a nice wide spritz. And I would say it's almost like a cucumber mint fragrance. I wonder if bamboo has like a similar fragrance to mint. Because there have been a few things lately that I've tried with bamboo in them and I feel like they have a bit of like a peppermint smell. So let's try this on the face. Mm, the sprayer is not so great. All I'm getting is spray. Like if it's spraying out this way, all I'm getting is spray at the top and spray at the bottom, nothing in between. Mmm, yeah. That's a dud squirter, unfortunately. You can kind of see the arc. It's just psh, spraying up and down, but not in the middle. So I'll just try to rub it in. It does have like that greasy feel like Skun sunscreen has. So I like the initial smell, but it's very greasy feeling. So I wonder if this is going to break me out tomorrow. Yeah, this is very greasy like sunscreen. All right, first impressions, not a big fan of this one just because of how slick it makes everything. Next up, we have the Soft Light Blurring Primer. They used to have their Spotlight Primer, which was like an illuminating one. This one is a blurring one. It says with age-defying actives. Smooths, absorbs, and protects infused with optical blurring agents and oil-absorbing kaolin, I believe that's a clay, to deliver an ultra-smooth airbrush finish enriched with antioxidants, protects skin, and visibly reduces fine lines and pores. Apply evenly over clean face and blend with fingertips. Can be worn alone or under foundation. All right, so we're gonna give this one a try. The packaging's nice. Glass and like a ombre tan to silver lid. And if anyone wants to know what my neon pink nail polish is, it's Sinful Colors, their neon collection. I believe it's the shade Popped. I love it. It's on day four, so I clearly need to redo it, but I love this color. Okay, let's check out this blurring primer. Any day now. Do I have a faulty pump? All right, my pump must be faulty. You guys are seeing how many times I'm pressing this and nothing's happening. So let's open it up and see what we're working with here. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's like a, I don't know, like a fleshy tone. What my flesh tone? <laughs> Color. Smells like paint. Smells just like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Just like it. I'm giving it a second to dry on my skin to see if I, it has any pore blurring properties. So we'll give it a minute. Okay, this one has the primer on it. This one does not. I'm not really seeing any difference. So, so far we're 0 for 2. All right, so the pump is a dud, but we will try to pour some out on the face and give it a try. I don't know guys, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the primer is on. I don't see any blurring properties. My pores still look humongous. They don't look filled in. I don't feel like my skin looks smoothed at all. If anything between those products, it looks like a greasy, slimy mess. So we'll move on to the next product, which are these shade adjuster drops. They have one for lightening and one for darkening, which is nice. Um, I love my Body Shop Shade Adjusting Lightning Drops. I use them all the time. I don't really have a deepening one because I never have the problem with something being 
too light, it's usually too dark. So we're gonna try this today with the Revlon Age Defying 3X Foundation, which is the shade Tender Beige, and this one's too dark for me. So I'm gonna try the lightning drops in with this and see how it works. Let's try the adjuster drops. I think I need a little bit more. Okay, I think that's a good shade, yeah. Okay, so, so far we've got a win. The lightning drops did a really nice job of lightening this foundation to be my actual color, so I will continue to use these. And I am curious to see if these will work as like a cream contour. Let me just see what this looks like by itself. Okay, that's the shade of it by itself. That probably would work for a cream contour if you are a bit darker than I am. Let me just see here. That actually makes a really pretty cream contour. Of course, cool, so maybe I found two uses out of this product. Okay, so I like the lightning drops for the foundation and I think I like these deepening drops as like a cream contour. We'll see how it wears during the day, but right now I'm liking the way that it looks on my skin. So, so far we have two that I'm not a big fan of, one that I really like, and one more to try. So let me finish off the face and we'll be back to try this Rosé All Day Illuminating Setting Spray. Be right back. Okay, so most of the face makeup is on. I still have to do the eyes and lips, but we are done with the face product. So I figured it was time to try the Last Physicians Formula product. This one is the Rosé All Stay Illuminating Setting Spray. It says brightens and tightens oil-free and alcohol-free. It says shake me right here and you can kind of see the product inside. So it says close eyes and mouth, hold setting spray 8 to 10 inches away and mist face in an X and a T motion until face is evenly coated. Can be used all over body and hair. All right, let's uh, try this on the hands real quick. Okay, that's pretty. It's like a soft glow with like that rose scent that their rose products all have. Spraying it on the body here first and see what happens. Can you guys see how shiny my hand is already? It's very potent in the shine department, so it gives a beautiful glow to the skin. I would definitely use this on the body. Let's see what I think on the face. Okay, ready? Eight to 10 inches away. Side with, side without, so let's dry it. Okay, it's just a very soft glow. I used it the other day and it was very intense, so perhaps it wasn't fully shaken. I didn't hear the ball moving around last time I used this, so that might have been the problem because you can kind of see all of the shimmer product sits at the bottom. So if you don't shake it, well, you are going to get a blast of shimmer and that's probably not you, what you want. You want something soft and subtle. So let me finish up the face and see what it looks like all done. My face just has a nice glow kind of all over. It doesn't look sparkly. It just looks nice and glowy and fresh kind of like my skin does here. You can't see shimmer. Um, it is sticky, like it's not, yeah, it's not drying down completely. It stays quite a bit 
tacky and sticky so just be aware of that if like the sticky texture on your body bothers you this may not be the product for you but on my face it doesn't bother me because I'm not going to be touching my face during the day so I think I like this I'm not a big fan of the rose fragrance but I like the way that my skin looks glowy and healthy so I like this one and I like the shade Adruster Drops um, I should mention I did try this one as a cream bronzer and not sure if you could see in the camera but it left like brown spots in my pores like like if dirt's been sitting on your skin for a while and it just starts to like get stuck in your hairline in the hair follicles that's what it looks like on its own so I don't suggest this on its own as a cream bronzer perhaps mixed with another cream product it would work beautifully but not alone um, so I think these are nice mixing drops and I like this setting spray the blurring primer didn't really blur for me and this uh, cucumbers like refreshment spray while I love the scent it was very very greasy I can definitely feel the SPF in it so I think I'm going to be avoiding those two moving forward so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was new from Physicians Formula if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and as always I will see you in my next video bye guys